hello babes welcome to a new vlog just want to say a huge thank you you guys i went live on my store yesterday everything sold out you guys so thank you to each and every one of you who placed an order i also got special orders i have like a bunch of them to do if you guys don't know what i'm talking about i'm talking about my tight ITs. Um, you guys can check them out, like just the styles. It will say out of stock for all the styles, but you guys can still look it up there. Um, StephanieMacedo.com. The two most popular colors were Cotton Candy and Orchid. Everything sold out in one day. The last piece sold this morning. A lot of you guys were asking um, if I sell shorts. I'm going to like look for the products and see if I can make other things possible if you guys want certain things um on my store let me know in the comments you know i really enjoy doing them but i was telling you guys on ig that it's one thing to enjoy doing them but it's another thing knowing that they're going to my audience you know what i mean like my babes so it's really special i love creating things i've always been very crafty a very crafty person very artistic but yeah i'm so excited for you guys to get them i just finished packaging everything this is like my first time doing things on my own i was mentioning because my merch and stuff have always been with like companies helping me out i think i'm gonna do some merch too you guys like some watch yourself tees but i have some other things in my mind too that i think will be so super cute you guys also said you want to see crewnecks. Um, I was thinking of doing crewnecks in my tie-dye pieces because I love them too. I figured, hmm, are crewnecks going to be something they're going to want? But let me know if you guys want it. I know you guys voted on IG, but I have a completely different audience on here. So let me know down below what you guys want to see if you want to see tie-dye crewnecks. I'm going to be making one for myself. So I have a white uh, crew neck for myself. I'm very particular about the products too. And the feel of them and everything. Like my t-shirts are very soft and they feel really nice. Um, so I'm going to have to. I like to order the piece. Test them out. See if I like it. Because I never want to give you guys something that obviously I don't enjoy. And I wear these tees non-stop. You guys have been seeing them in my videos like non-stop. Because they're so comfortable. So yeah, thank you guys so, so, so much for supporting basically my first store on my own. And what I love about the fact that I'm doing this on my own is that I can quality check everything. I can look if everything is all good, make sure each individual order matches what the person ordered. So I really loved that about it. Um, so they're ready to go. So again, it just makes it super special that I'm sending these out to my babes and it's my audience. It's not just anybody, you know what I mean? But I went to my parents yesterday and I saw Bentley. I saw my mama. And at first, you guys, he looked at me and he kind of like paused. I guess because I had my sunglasses. But as soon as I said, hi, mama, he obviously can hear my voice and everything. And he's like, oh my God, it's you. Like I have not seen him in like months. Um, my parents have like come here brought me stuff and i've seen them and stuff but not bentley he was so excited you guys i should have brought my camera and vlogged it i showed it on ig but yeah i spent some time with my parents it was really nice just to like chill and hang out on a saturday we did barbecue um but i'm going to tan i'm going to wash my hair because it's greasy and i'm gonna rewear the shirt because i just want to not take it off um now i'm probably gonna switch to another one when the UPS guy asked me, what are all these for? I'm going to be like, don't worry about it, sweetheart. Don't worry about it, sweetheart. I'm a store owner now. <laughs> Turkey savlaki kebabs. And I'm just adding um, seasoned salt. I love this seasoning, okay? Like, it's so good. Put it on your breakfast sausage, too. This seasoned salt is by, is it Clubhouse? Yeah, Clubhouse. And we're going to be having some leftover rice and... I'm going to be putting some tzatziki with it because I like all my sovlaki with some tzatziki. Some Greek salad that we have left over that I got at Fortino's. And this dressing is hella good. This is Renee's um, Greek feta. And this sauce is hella fire, you guys. This is uh, Nando's, um, well, we call it Pidi Pidi, but <laughs> it's Peri Peri to some people sauce. I got the garlic one. I love this. It has like a little bit of a kick to it, like a spice. And it just goes really well with chicken. I dipped my steak in it. That's what I did yesterday. And I only have a little tiny bit of rice that I cooked left over. And this is what we're going to be drinking. I'm going to have my kombucha. And I'm drinking the Synergy one. And this one is organic. And it's the Guava Goddess. One of you guys recommended this when I was asking for which flavors I should try. Some peach juice inside of here. And then some water. And I did put some flavoring. Like that was zero calories inside of here too. 
So it is really, really good if you kind of mix it with things. So if you love orange juice, I would use that. This is what we're having. Look how good this looks. So I put my um, Pity Pity sauce on the side. I'm here at the post office. It's the next day. Um, I didn't get to film what I wanted to yesterday, but I'm about to ship these out. I can't wait for you guys to receive them. Again, thank you guys so much to each babe that ordered something. But yeah, I can't wait. And make sure when you guys get these that you take me when you're wearing them at Stuff G Macedo. But yeah, I'm going to go bring these in. You guys, how cute is this vase I just found at uh, Michael's? It's so cute. It was on for 50% off because I wouldn't have bought a regular price. It was like $30. Everything is like overpriced there, but then they like their sales are so large. So I always kind of wait for that. There was only one left in this color though because obviously it's going to be the most popular. Like, watch yourself. Look at it. It just blends in. I don't know what I, where I'm gonna put her yet, but like I'm a vase girl, like I just love vases. Hello babes, it is actually quite early. I'm gonna use my little lint roller. This is what I'm wearing today. I'm going to the dentist at 12. Um, I haven't even brushed my hair yet, but I tanned. I was so, like I get so lazy with tanning because it's so annoying. Remove this guy, because then it's like completely flat. I got it off of Amazon, I can link it for you guys. Obviously with black sweaters. This is my first, um, merch piece that I released you guys. I'm going to take off some of this and then we'll chat. Would work better if I actually did it the proper way where you lay it flat on the bed or something, but <laughs> we are an on the go type of gal. You know what I'm saying? I love this crew neck. I'm going to switch my pants to jeans. I did just tan. I even tanned my stomach too. Um, but I'm gonna let it sit and then I'll wash it off like later on at night and I didn't get to do my nails like I wanted to because I noticed when my nails are not done I start to pick at my skin for some reason. I feel like because they look ugly. I'm just like picking at it or something how I like to do my bed you guys just fold over the sheet the comforter the pillow um, and I always have my aquaphor beside me before bed I actually take it with me during the day this is breakfast you know when the ice tray is like basically empty but you're too lazy like when you're in the middle of making a drink so you don't refill it I had one ice cube left so that's what I'm working with this morning one ice cube and I have an egg with some of the yolk oozing out a little bit I kind of like it like that um, and my avocado with salt and black pepper, breakfast sausage, and some ketchup. And let me show you guys something. I bought an Essie nail polish because I'm like, I'm feeling some color. I need to do a better job with this lint removing. <laughs> um, I bought an Essie color because I'm like, you know, I really want some color. want colorful nails this time for a little bit. And Amazon didn't have the colors that I wanted. It reminded me why I will never use nail polish ever again. Once you get used to gel, like, you cannot make a mistake. And with nail polish, the way it goes on so, like, goopy. It's so easy to mess up. The drying time is crazy. The only good thing about nail polish is that you can remove it and easily change it for something else. That's the only good thing about it. And the smell is gross, too. Even if they're vegan, I don't care. Nail polish is just not for me. So, yeah, back to gel polish. Oh, my God, you guys. That appointment went a little bit longer than I expected. I ended up having to do two fillings. I've never had a cavity in my damn life. One technically was not a cavity, but she said it would turn into one. Let me put this up. Wow. Ugh, the feeling is like just, I hate the dentist, honestly. I freaking hate it. I grabbed something from McDonald's and I grabbed my drink. Some days you just gotta. I didn't get fries. I just got six chicky nuggies. Right now it's four because I had two in the car. I'm gonna put this in the fridge though because, oh my battery's dying. This is what I love to eat. This is my favorite. They're McChicken, it's my favorite thing to eat. If I get fries, I'll get like the small and I love their chicken nuggets. The barbecue sauce in the US is different from ours. Ours is better. It's just different. When I ordered nuggets there, I was like, ew, it's the typical American barbecue sauce. Like the one that y'all put on your ribs. Mm -mm. Our barbecue sauce is the bomb. Do you guys want to die at the dentist? 
the like the water from like the thing on me like the cover or whatever the water like would come down here and like go to the back of my back and i'm laying there and i'm just in my head i'm just like do you know that i just freshly tanned myself like <laughs> all i could picture is the water running down and like ruining my tan but i'm like whatever honestly it's at the back of my neck no one's looking there no one cares but i feel like the water went here on my neck the tan always looks crazy like you can even tell i thought i would share that with y'all i'm gonna brush my teeth after this i got into my orchid tea and then i realized that my tan was fresh and i was like no i just washed this shirt and it's white so it was gonna get like dirty these are all the lip balms that i got from sephora you guys and i'm gonna go through i mean whoa whoa, whoa. sweetheart Watch yourself. These are a bunch of the lip balms I got from the Sephora sale. That's all I got except for um, a face tanner that I got from Sephora too, which I do love. It's actually on my face right now with my La Roche-Posay um, tinted sunscreen moisturizer. The little tiny like spatula that comes with the, um, how do you pronounce this, Laneige lip sleeping mask. It came with this. It's literally like for the size of like ratatouille. Like if he was putting on, no, that'd be too big. That'd be too big. That would be if he was doing like his whole face. I just pictured it in my head, did you? I actually put the Walita inside of here because I do want to talk about my thoughts on that one. I have one that I didn't get from Sephora, but these are the... I write my notes down on a piece of paper. Yes, I know it's 2020. So I put how many hours it lasted. And my overall thoughts, like things that stood out to me, things I didn't like that stood out, things that I loved that stood out. So let's start with the Fenty. I really liked this one. This is the Pro Kiss Er Luscious Lip Balm. Fenty Beauty, obviously. The packaging is so freaking cute. Like as soon as I saw it, I was like, oh my god, like it's just my aesthetic. I put love the finish and texture. I love the texture of this one. This one lasted me two hours. Most of them lasted two hours, just to give you guys like an overview, but there were some that lasted under. It's super, super smooth. Has like, I wanna say it smells like almond. It legit smells like almond milk, I'm not even joking. The scent, what I love about it is that it's muted. I don't really like when these things have a lot of like heavy scents to them i'm very floral i'm very much on the floral side i cannot stand fruity scents oh i hate them so much and that's why one of them bothers me from the one that i got so it was one of the ones that lasted the most and this one also like gives you that glossy kind of finish like you wouldn't have to put i feel like you wouldn't have to put a gloss on plus this i feel like this can go on by itself but i love it the next one is the pharmacy one this one was recommended to me by amy i also tried it when i was at her house so that's why i was like hmm i'll try that one out and i obviously took advantage of the sale because typically you guys already know i'm very like bougie on a budget i like to get my stuff but find it for a good price but i will say like these most of these i feel like are worth it and i would repurchase um, so this one is the Pharmacy Honey Butter, and Amy said she had very, very, very dry lips, and this was the only thing that cured it for her. This thing did work really well when I had my problem. It's a beeswax lip balm. Beeswax is very, very, very good when you do have those really cracky dry lips. This looks like it doesn't have a lot of product. That's the only thing that I was just like, really? But it's not that expensive. I think it's like $12, but still, if you think about a typical lip balm, right, or a typical chapstick, has a honey smell to it. I love the smell. I'm totally fine with it. It's very subtle. It's not like in your face or anything. It's very, very nice, the feeling. Very nice. Whereas this one gives you that lip gloss kind of look. This one just gives you that lip balm sort of, okay, my lips are moisturized kind of feel. So it doesn't make your lips super shiny or anything. It has like a satiny kind of finish to it. But I definitely love this one. Like I could see myself having like three of these, like extras just in my place. This one lasted also two hours, so it was the same amount of time as this one. I put that it's mild, so it's very like, just it's just your typical like kind of chopstick sort of feel. That's what I meant by mild. Smooth, very smooth the texture. I really, really recommend this one. The next one is the Sephora one. So I got this one because I wanted to get a more affordable lip balm so that we can compare it. So this is the... Sephora Coconut Lip Balm. They also had lip scrubs, but I made sure I got the balm. Um, this one has a little bit more of a shiny texture, but it's very similar to this because it's in a form of a chopstick. This one did not last as long. 
but I put in here in brackets to be fair I was eating while I had this one on whereas the other ones I was just doing normal things like drinking a drink or something or sitting on the sofa I constantly lick my lips I bite my lips but this one lasted an hour while I was eating so I feel like it would last a little bit longer if I wasn't eating but to be honest with you, you guys, none of these went like over above and beyond and lasted like maximum amount of hours. Like, I just don't believe that because it's it's on your lips. If you are a lip licker, you're gonna, you know, waste it off. This one I put coconut, so I loved the coconut um, smell to it. It's very smooth. That's something I put in soft. Very, very, very soft. The scent is not like overly coconut. If you're looking for an affordable one, um, I would definitely say this one was really good and it lasted pretty much as long as the expensive ones too. Well, Lita, I did not get this from Sephora, but I did not like this lip balm. The reason why I did not like it was because it literally is called lip butter and it felt like I put margarine on my lips. Um, and because of that, I felt like it never, like it would, it would sit right here. It was just, you know, I liked the shine and stuff. The smell is fine because it's natural. And it's plant-based too. It smells like their, their face creams. I love their skin food cream on my face. That's what I use today and I use that at night. Mm, I used it for a bit, but to be honest with you, it didn't, it just doesn't soak into the lips, giving it moisture. It, it just didn't really work for me. So next one is the Fresh Sugar Coconut Hydrating Lip Balm. So this one comes in a little kind of pomade looking thing, just like this. And it literally looks like coconut, basically. Like coconut with like a hint of fragrance, but it's not strong. It's really, really nice. The only thing is something like this I would be using at home. Not so much when I go out. When I go out, I like something like this. Or something with a wand whereas something like this would be okay for at home because I just don't want to always get my fingers all dirty right and like all oily and stuff like right now I just dipped it and now my fingers are all sticky I did really like this one this one lasted one and a half hours though so it's a little bit under the smell is very nice more thick this one was a little bit more thick like in texture a little bit but once you put it on it gave you like that really kind of rich feeling so it wasn't crazy light but also wasn't like too 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 thick either i just don't feel like i would it's not something that i'm like oh my god i'm gonna go back for that milk this is a tinted lip balm it is doing a little bit of both it's giving you some color so it's like a semi lipstick I love this color canatonic you guys can see it there well i can put it on my lips because my lips are healed now I, i've been like avoiding makeup it just gives your lips a little tint and I love that this one's more of like a plummy mauvey purple tint because I don't do well with like see what it did it just gave me like a little something especially when my face matches my tanned body it just if I don't want to put on like a nude lipstick and I just want my natural lip color to come out this is what I use I love this guy um, the first one they had sent to me and I absolutely loved it. This has that mint kind of background sort of smell and feel on your lips. It's not tingly, but it has that fresh feeling. Like when you put on your lips, you get a little bit of that fresh minty feeling. So if you are not a minty lover or you can't stand that, then this might not be for you. It doesn't really bother me. Like I still love this and it still keeps my lips hydrated, but at the same time giving me some color. So whereas these guys have like one purpose, I feel like this has like a two in one. So I really, really love this. Let's move on to the Laneige sleeping mask. This obviously is a very 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 highly popular product because everyone was like oh my god i can't wait till you try it it's the best it's the best it's the best everyone says it's the best it's the best so i have to be honest nothing really stood out to me um with the product i think it did what it was supposed to do um i did put it on before i went to sleep but i also used this throughout the day too to kind of just test it out as like a normal lip balm just because a lip mask is a lip mask doesn't mean you can't use it as just a regular lip balm but i did put it on my lips um for about three nights in a row and i did wake up with my lips like still nourished and not dry i guess i was expecting them to be a little bit more since ever everybody was raving about it and i did put a good amount too like i wasn't just putting like a little bit 
So I don't know but at the same time you guys when I got all these that's when that problem started happening with my lips And it was had it, it wasn't anything to do with this just to be clear or any of these products It was kind of a bad time one thing I do not like about this is like I mentioned I cannot stand fruity scents and I thought that me by getting the original one, that it wouldn't have any scent. I thought, I don't know, I guess in my head I was like, oh, original. Because all the others were like, apple and this. It has a raspberry. Um, smell to me is a big thing. But I would love for them to create the same mask but without a scent. If there is one, let me know. It's a good product, but for me, I don't like the smell. If I had to rate these guys from one to last, and just to keep it fair, this is not technically a lip balm. It's more of a mask. I really loved this one. This is something that I would pick up, put in my purse. I would reach for it, and I would put it on my lips. And I love the feeling of it. I love the smell of it. Um, I like how compact it is. This would be my second fave. I love it because it gives you that very like glam feel. Like you feel like you're also putting on makeup and not just a lip balm. At the same time, your lips stay very nourished. I love the smell of it. The texture of this one feels, when I say rich, I mean it feels expensive. That's what I mean. Then my milk lip balm because it's like a two-in-one. So it has my color that I love. But then it also has the lip balm that keeps my lips really nourished. I'll put it first because I feel like it was a good lip mask and this one I'll put after because it's a it's a basic affordable lip balm if you're looking for one and then I would put the fresh one. nine hours later <laughs> this is what the color looks like you guys it's so pretty it's like a mauvey rosy kind of pink and this is exactly what i was looking for i'm gonna end the video right here you guys if you have not subscribed make sure you guys do and also click that big thumbs up and like this video also follow me on ig and click that bell so you guys get notified every single time i post a brand new video hopefully you guys enjoyed this vlog thank you guys so much for watching and i will see all of my beautiful babes in my next video